when you first started writing, when you came in and first started, had you done enough research to know what you were getting into or your, were your expectations met when you first started in the business? You know, I, I told somebody recently, if I knew how hard it was, I probably would not have done it. I, I read an article about a writer named Chris Columbus, who, you know, very famous writer, director, um, and his journey um, distilled in this article sounded easy. It wasn't, <laughs> but it sounded easy because it was in an article with a certain amount of, you know, word count. So I just took it, okay, if this guy can do it, I can do it. Not realizing <laughs> that you need talent, not realizing that, you know, you need luck, not realizing that you need supporters who are, you know, who are reading and helping push your material along, not realizing any of that. So from where I grew up in Montreal, Canada, I, you know, planning to move out there, I started making some, I wrote one script for my uh, film writing class at, at Concordia University. And using whatever I could find from, there was a Life Magazine article, there was a, the Rolling Stone article on Chris Columbus, there was stuff that I was able to pull out. Um, and I um, figured I'm gonna go right to the top of the line. And there was an article about Amblin and Steven Spielberg's company in the Life Magazine. So I called um, information in Los Angeles and got, Amblin Studios at Universal and called them and said, um, I knew they were gonna take a call from me. So I I said, hi, it's Chris Columbus, is Steven around? <laughs> and it's a true story. So <laughs> so, anyways, they put me through to Steven's executive assistant, and she picks up and I she says, Chris, I said, and I pause and I said, Yeah. And she goes, this isn't Chris. <laughs> and I said, no, my name is Peter Lenkoff. I, I have a script and I'd love five minutes to pitch it to Mr. Spielberg. And she said, look, you have to get an agent to, you know, submit scripts. You can't just call up and pitch them. So she gave me a bunch of names. I wrote the names down. And I wrote William Moss. I didn't know it was William <laughs> Moore, but I wrote William Moss. So, so anyways, this story splits off into two things. One is years later, I was at Amblin, uh, an executive named Bettina Viviano was, uh, we were talking about a project and I was telling her that story. She said, hold on a second. She went to the computer, put my name in and I was flagged as a secure, you know, just at, at the <laughs> security as a possible threat because I tried to get to Steven Spielberg. The second part of the story uh, is I called up information looking for William Moss <laughs> and there was no William Moss. It was only until I finally moved to LA and uh, uh, found a list of agencies that I realized it was the William Morris agency. So, <laughs> I look, I did and everything I did. And, you know, back then, those days, if you had a manila envelope, you could pull up to the gate of any studio and tell them that you're delivering a script to whatever. And they'd let you on. This was pre 9-11. So what I used to do is I went to Paramount. I said, I'm delivering a script to John Hughes or whoever. Once I got on the lot, I would try to meet people. I would you know, as ironically, I ended up getting to work with Henry Winkler, but I met Ed McDonald, which is his partner at a company called Fair Dinkum. Um, and I even had the nerve once to take my dad on a tour of Paramount <laughs> using, that, <laughs> using that scam. Uh, and little, you know, and little did I know when I was doing that and looking over my shoulder the whole time, worried that I was going to get caught. That years later, I'd have an office there for 11 years on the Paramount lot. So, um, you know, it just, I didn't know. I, I, I really didn't know what the rules were. I didn't know how hard it was. I 
just, I was so naive in terms of the business that I thought that part, part talent, which I didn't think I really had, but I felt like I was a hard worker uh, and luck, perseverance, this combination of things, this recipe would ultimately get me uh, a job at some point and, um, and writing and just keep writing until you find a way to, to build a better sentence.